My education in the United Kingdom, I would criticise. Uh, I didn't uh, really have the opportunity to do anything in the arts. My school was very intellectual and uh, I took an examination at 11 uh, and this divided me and my friends. Uh, some uh, were judged on the basis of the examination to go into the cotton mills and coal mines and work with their hands and others were able to go to a more intellectual school and this really has been a motive in my life to connect minds and hands. should be no division. The hands are intelligent just as the brain is intelligent. In the learning process, whether we are children or adults, there are three basic needs, uh, three innate needs uh, that every person has. Uh, we have first um, a need to collect our sense impressions, to taste, to see, to hear. We also need to have the ability to make judgments. Oh, that's a nice colour. Uh, that tasted very good, that meal, that fish. It was really good. We are making personal judgments and we don't usually make these with the intellect. This is in our emotional life. And the third thing is to bring this to an individualized expression. So we've got to learn to express ourselves, express these values in different ways. And of course, with young children and also with youth, art is very important in this respect. The children and youths have the confidence in expressing themselves, giving this individuality back to the world in many ways, through music, painting, writing, drawing, dance or whatever. I think you can say you've had a good life if in some way you've been able to put your own personal finger print or footprint in the world in some small way. This is very fulfilling. And this is a question of health. I will be healthy because I feel I have done something out of my own individuality. And really this is the background for a creative method in schools. <laughs>